of the Sea, Episode 10 Unity is Strength The black spot grows larger and the situation seems to turn for the worse, both inside and outside the sea. Akari doesn't understand why the witch baked out after agreeing to help them. In any case, she is determined to do everything she can to save the creatures living in those seas from the catastrophe. So she sends a fairy to Arisu to inform her of what happened. The Queen of the Light descends into the depths of the sea to meet the witch. She wants her to forget the grudge against Kokoro and join the team of the Magic Island. The witch realizes that it makes no sense to sacrifice all those lives for an ancient conflict between her and the Prince of the Sea. She agrees to join the rescue operation. There's no more time to lose. The team sets to work on saving the coral colony. It's time to act. Meanwhile, the damage to the large ship has been repaired. Just in time to remove part of the oil, which has almost reached the colony. Using her powerful magic, the Sea Witch makes the protective shield impenetrable and extends its size to protect a much larger area. The operation succeeds. The colony is saved along with a large area of sea around it. Unfortunately, many lives have been lost both at sea and outside. In fact, there's not much to celebrate. However, someone has been saved and once again life goes on. Arisu and the witch drift away together. As they separate, Arisu tells the witch I think it's time to free Kokoro from the spell. The sea is in great danger. Only by joining forces we can do something to protect it. I ask you to reflect, concludes the queen. I will, says the witch, disappearing into the depths of the sea. End of the tenth and final episode. Thank you for following the first series of Tales of the Sea. In the next video I will tell you what has inspired the series. See you soon!